All right, so just a quick little video here uh, on some rapids I've been able to achieve and some vice draws I just wanted to talk quickly about here. Um, if you're not interested at all in these vice draws, jump to uh, this time right here and we'll look at the rapids. So uh, these are some vice draws that I had to make for a job to center my work pieces in the travel. And I haven't seen many people or anybody use anything like this and I'm wondering First of all, if there's another way, or uh, maybe this will be helpful to some of you. So, this table, when it travels up, um, with your vice, you know, you can kind of see where the uh, the fixed jaw is here. You can only hold a workpiece kind of starting right here, and um, I wanted to be able to hold it a little further up, which you can't do without, I don't know, these adapter kind of style of jaws. So, these let me move the workpiece further up and work on it uh, more centered in the travel. Okay, for these pieces here that we're gonna be looking at today, um, you don't need them at all. The only reason I'm using these jaws is because they're actually wider than my vise, and I can do two at the same time, which I know I'm breaking some rules here, but I think that's the beauty. <laughs> if there's anything good about these cheap, kind of overseas Chinese vices, there's a lot of slop in them, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting even preload on both of these parts um, and it ended up working anyway so uh, but yeah let's take a look at the rapids I was I was rapiding at 50 inches per minute and it's mostly because I have this terrible base frame this blue precision Matthews frame it's really just uh, it it's more like a filing cabinet than a rigid base so um, I've been real careful but I kinda I kept an eye on my accelerations and I just went up to 200 inches per minute on the rapids, which I just wanted to share with you guys here, so take a look.